My name is Betsy Peabody with Puget Sound Restoration Fund and I'm here at Seal, Seal Rock Campground with various members of Marine Resources Committees and we're looking for Olympia oysters. I am Brady Blake, Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife. The hair on the back of my neck test says it's Pacific, but if I saw a picture of that from anywhere else but Hood Canal, I would come running to go look at that oyster. So hopefully everybody I'm not sure, the middle one is the biggest one. These are the biggest lumpy. You know, these are goats, quarter, these are sheep. Jefferson's MRC, let's, let's try to do that. here to learn how to identify Olympia oysters so I can use my talents to go out and find other ones. Where are you from, Mike? In Port Ludlow. Trying to reestablish uh, Olympias in Port Ludlow? Yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a long time and I think it's a perfect opportunity for it there. One of the big differences, just so you know, is what it looks like inside. You see how white that is? Olympia oysters always have coloration on the inside of the shell. Okay? So yellowish, purplish, greenish. That's just one of the one of the things you look for. And why should anybody care about the Olympia oysters? Mainly because of of the unknowns about the species. Um, at one time it was a keystone, abundant keystone species locally in many of the estuaries here, in the canal for example. Uh, it's present, but it's no longer in providing those functional habitats that historically did. Um, I believe that uh, you know, there's a lot of uncertainties about the species, a lot of unknowns, and that uh, we should take the cautious principle and want to rebuild the populations. <laughs> Let's see, randomly fell there. Is there on the quadrat? <laughs> Sample number one GPS. Go ahead and do a waypoint if you want, store a waypoint, sample number one, but paper you record sample number one, write down the Latin long for sample number one. I just go through, if there's shell there, I'll just go through and carefully go through all the bits of shell. Again, without doing some very time-consuming 